Are you ready? <laughs> so in total for this uh, video, I... Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today I want to break down and show you guys what YouTube paid me for my video with 8 million. Uh, first of all, if you don't know, um, my name is Mitch. I am a beauty and lifestyle content creator and I've been doing content for many years now. But I think consistently, especially from maybe let's say 2020 uh, is when I've like really been serious about my content. And the video that I got the 8 million I think it's 8.4 uh, million views right now. It's a video I did on how to easily do your eyebrows. And let me just say, it wasn't actually one of those videos that I expected to like blow up like that. Um, and then also, I think it's important for me to mention that it didn't like just ha happen overnight. That video, I put it up in December of 2020. So... Without further ado, <laughs> I want to sh get into showing you guys um, my analytics on my YouTube studio. Obviously, I'm not going to show you guys everything, but I am going to show you the important parts um, in terms of the revenue and also the geographies or the, demo the demographics, sorry, of where um, I got the most views and also, you know, CPM, things like that. So let's get into it. Okay, so initially when I did put up the video, I remember within like... Okay, to be honest, at that time, I really wasn't uh, one to really follow up so much. Oh, how many views? Because my channel was pretty small and the views weren't encouraging at the time. But I remember it was also at a point where um people are said to know me. And then also my sister used to like post me a lot and tell people, oh my gosh, follow my sister. She does um this kind of content. And I think even with that like they, they they became more and more people on my channel and i was like oh okay so i started putting out putting out more and more content and the one thing that i have realized with youtube is the more content you put out uh the more youtube pushes your your videos as opposed to just doing a video today and then your next video is in like three months so i try to keep up consistent consistently um after that obviously like um in one video maybe in one month maybe i would have um one or two videos or sometimes if i try so much i have like five or six videos and then right now i think is when i would say i really picked up on the consistency uh yeah and then initially my views were like maybe in the thousands maybe like two thousand or three thousand it wasn't like a lot and that's within the first few months um and then now as the traffic started picking up that's when it really shot up um and then I, I think also it is important for me to say that even as I'm showing you these analytics, it's not just for like the, the revenue is not just like instantly. It came over a period of different months because different months you have different earnings. So now this is the total revenue for like from that time up till right now um, of what I've gotten from that particular video. Uh, under which category does the YouTube AdSense program get the highest revenue? Okay, so right now I'm just searching um, the categories where uh, in YouTube that gets the most money. So here it's uh, digital marketing, personal finance and investments, educational content, tech, cars and gadgets. Because I tech, oh my gosh, and cars, no longer two, 5 million in two minutes. I'm like, wow. Um, lifestyle, fashion and shine halls, cooking, etc, etc. So it's important for me to mention this because this also determines... Um, how much money you make because if you if you're for example uh in a category of cooking and somebody is in a category of digital marketing or tech and personal finance obviously even if your views are the same then they would definitely get a higher a higher like payout because of the category that they are in okay so uh let's get into it Okay, so here is um, what the overview of the content is looking. And guys, you can see it's still my my highest performing video uh, till right now. So I just want to click on it. Okay, so this is my overview of the video. This video has gotten 8.484 uh, views since it was published. Uh, the audience retention is there. And then also how the video performed in terms of the retention and then the real time. So this is, I think, in forty-eight, in the last forty-eight hours, there has been uh, four thousand nine hundred and ninety-seven views. And then these are the top traffic sources. So YouTube search, um, other 
suggested browse features and external and i think this is why it's so important for you to or rather for me usually to you know give the how to do this and how to do that because a lot of people do such that so you're really trying to optimize your video when you do that and then let's go to the reach so the reach is 173 million and how viewers found this video suggested uh, which is the most which is 52 percent and then also these are the external sites which brought in viewers and this can really be helpful, especially if you do educational content. So this is a YouTube search terms. So people, I think, were searching for eyebrow tutorial, makeup tutorial, makeup tutorial for beginners, makeup, how to draw eyebrows, things like that. Um, and then content suggesting this video was this one. So if you be, if you if you click on that, you can be able uh, to see. And then when we go to the engagement. Uh, so this is the engagement you see initially it had really um stagnated and then it's like literally just shot up oh shots created using parts of this video i did not even know about that um so that's the engagement and then let's go to the audience so most of my viewers are usually between 18 to 34 35 years over there and this is also the same with my instagram so yeah most of my viewers and you know it's women they they lie within the so male and then female is 92 percent and then the top geographies which views the which viewed the video is kenya south africa nigeria united states and ghana so kenya is the majority of it and then this is how you know people have audacity the people who have not subscribed who have watched the video are 98 percent can really give you audacity and then the uh, from my subscribers alone it's only two percent so 98 percent of those eight million view views are from non-subscribers please guys if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed shame on you can you subscribe thank you very much so now let's go to the juice of the video which is the revenue are you ready <laughs> so in total for this uh video i youtube pay me paid me 1.7 uh, million this is in shillings i usually like for my revenue to be in shillings just because it gives me a better understanding of where i'm at because sometimes in dollars depending on the exchange rate then you know uh it could be less it could be more i don't know so this is total from december 22nd uh 2022 uh, so this is the estimated revenue, uh, 1.7, and then the YouTube premium is 5,000. But it's important for me to mention that it's not one like gross payment. It came like different, like this month, maybe 30, the other month like this, the other month like that. Uh, yeah, and then the ad types where I got uh, revenue from the video is skippable video ads, display, bumper and unskippable guys you see in that place where you usually have the youtube studio where it asks you okay so which um which kind of ads do you want i usually put all of them all of them <laughs> i put all of them uh yeah so that is how much youtube has paid me for a video of 8.4 million obviously if the demographics are watching my video were you know with the higher cpms that's the you know canada america I think Australia, it would be much higher, but um, yeah, it would be really much higher because if you compare this same kind of views uh, to somebody who is maybe in a country with higher CPM, then obviously it can even be three or four times of this amount. So yes, so that's basically the juice of um, the revenue. If you are a content creator, my what I've what I've come to see like within this few years that i've been on youtube is whichever content that you're trying to do um sometimes it's good to especially if you want to obviously everybody wants a higher higher payout or revenue when it comes to youtube is not only whatever content you're doing target it in a way that even somebody from you know those countries can be able to view it so that's why in a lot of my videos i would always try to talk english because a lot of people who are not in swahili speaking countries won't understand me so i don't also want it to want there to be a language barrier so you know small things like that just packaging the content in a way that is also consumable to anybody else who is not within your country because if you target those countries and just custom make your content in a way that can attract the audience from those countries obviously you'd be getting a higher a higher payout from youtube um, but I think also it's important to 
to for me to say because I I I often get caught in this uh, maze of you know you're constantly you put up a video you constantly want to go and look at the numbers because uh -huh, how many views uh -huh, what was the retention uh -huh, where did people skip off and that's good for uh, for for research and knowing how to elevate your content but then again it's not getting stuck in the numbers because for me youtube is just fun i love creating content i love coming on here and um just sh sharing how my day was or teaching you guys how to do an eyebrow tutorial or how to do um your eyeshadow how to do this and that so for me it's become a very fun space for me because it's not anything that okay obviously the money is good but it's not something that i constantly look at as work i just see it as you know something fun for me to do which comes with a little extra extra buck so yeah have fun with your content because usually you can tell when content is forced and when somebody just genuinely enjoys putting up the content for you so yes uh also the last thing that i wanted to mention is and that's actually one of the reasons why i really 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 keep pushing other than the fact that i love it uh, makeup kind of content because when it comes to things like that educational content i have noticed that whether it's teaching somebody how to make pancakes or teaching somebody how to make chicken biryani or how to fix this carburetor i just discovered the word carburetor so i've been saying it don't even ask me what it is because i have no idea what a carburetor is but i've noticed that educational content like you see this specific one the fact that it's still earning me money till right now and i did it uh two years back shows you how much evergreen content has the potential to come and and, and blow and another thing is don't not getting fixated on the views is a good thing because you see like this specific video it hadn't even done like a good a good even like 10,000 it hadn't it didn't even have the 10,000 views but it just got to a point and it blew up and it kept blowing and it kept blowing and it kept blowing so you just focus on putting up putting out the content keep doing your research keep putting out content that people not only enjoy but also learn from depending on the the niche that you're doing uh but evergreen content i have noticed it does really well and especially over a long period of time sometimes i feel like the vlogs usually they get the huge views and that's good but i've noticed with evergreen content it might take a while it may take a couple of months or it might even blow up initially but with that it's really consistent because even in 10 years people will still want to know how to do their eyebrows in five years people will still want to know how to make that boozy fry or that you know what I'm, i mean or how to fix their their light that keeps you know getting water when it rains something like that so educational and evergreen content is really really huge so if you are into content that is educational then don't give up on it don't give up on it just keep putting it out there keep um upping your content improving your content and you never know it might just be that one uh one of your videos or two of your videos blow up and you be it becomes viral and then now people are now drawn into your channel also another thing that i've noticed is because youtube is really pushing youtube shots i was really I was like why are you guys pushing uh, shots so much and i realized that even from that you can be able to get a different kind of audience because if somebody sees me right now um teaching you how to apply your eyeshadow and they like then they obviously go and check out my page and then they subscribe and then now they become a viewer which can also translate into being a customer into being you know it's it's just an on and on and on cycle so yeah also pushing and utilizing the things that these platforms are you know pushing so it's if it's if it's short they're saying oh you guys shorter is better <laughs> let's do all those shots because they're really pushing it by themselves and so something that you have to um do a lot on um but also making sure that your uh, your quality is entertaining it is quality I mean your content is quality it's entertaining and it's just fun to consume so yeah let me go and take care of somebody who is screaming over there and i hope you guys enjoyed watching the video and it just showed you that there is potential potential to be able to make money um on these apps and on these platforms and especially if you just really exert yourself and push yourself you can you can you can make good money out of it but it really does require a lot of consistency so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video uh i was very skeptical before <laughs> putting it out there but i was like you know what this can help somebody and encourage them to really open up that youtube channel and to really you know keep pushing their content at akama even if you don't see um the results right now eventually it comes it picks up and it becomes something that you really thank yourself for not giving up on so yeah if you guys enjoy 
please like this video please like this video could you like this video for me please i want to get it to 100 million thank you <laughs> bye guys